Hello and good morning listeners welcome back to Almus Market Mornings your daily dose of global financial updates I'm your host Swaraj Raj Gopal and we have got you covered on everything from currency shifts to pivotal central bank decisions and important speeches plus you'll gain expert analysis on macroeconomic data that's shaping the market narrative right now join us for this episode and navigate the markets with confidence Fear often leads to stronger reactions in the market than greed. Uh, that's been the observation last few months, and that's been the case yesterday. Western equity markets experienced a strong sell-off, which was followed by the Asian markets today morning. Oil has continued to slump, trading below seventy-five dollars a barrel, despite today morning's update on the Russian attack in Ukraine. Now, is it all because of the weaker manufacturing PMIs from the US? Let's find out. JK, good morning. Your thoughts on yesterday's market moves, and uh, what do you think might be the reason behind that? Yeah, good morning, uh, Suraj. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I mean uh, the market sell-off yesterday was um, would have taken many by surprise uh, because there was no single trigger or uh, you know event uh, that would have led. Uh, but uh, when I looked at uh, you know how the market has been positioned and what's been going on, uh, and also the fact that uh, market saw an increased liquidity. after uh, most of the participants returned from a long weekend as well as the summer vacation usually the summer vacation ends with the labor day and uh, the full market when they came they what what factors they were faced with was uh, that the markets were uh, you know had recovered smartly from the sell off that we saw post boj rate hike uh, then we had uh, uh, the oeda statement yesterday in fact oeda submitted a document to uh, you know the you, you, uh, japanese government in which he said uh, that uh, there would be uh, you know a rate hike depending on the price situation uh, and the growth in the economy um, that means they are keeping their options open on the uh, monetary policy and also uh, you know they also uh, september is also considered as a very a uh, difficult month for uh, risk assets uh, historically and uh, when people came back came in and uh, you know saw the markets you know trading at the highs so they actually tended to take uh, profit on their uh, long positions there is also concern about the us economy which is you know going to report a lot of data on jobs market uh, starting today uh, the top on the mind of course is the jobs report which is due on uh, friday Uh, last month's four point three percent unemployment uh, rate uh, has given rise to fears that the job market can be probably uh, much weaker, uh, and that has been recognized by Powell also in his Jackson Hole speech. So you know now, while we may say that the weak economy and weak jobs can lead to uh, more rate cuts, uh, what the investors are looking at is the fact that uh, you know the rate cuts coming on the back of weak economy. means that you know for some time the earnings would be impacted uh, we also have the pmis which have been you know showing manufacturing continuing to be in uh, contraction in most of the economies uh, uh, uk being an exception and uh, uh, today even the services side of the pmi in china came lower so there is a general sense of a slowdown in major economies uh, um it is no better reflected than in the commodity uh, prices where you know most of the commodities are trading at uh, multi month uh, lows and even the commodity index uh, has been trading at the lows seen uh, in uh, late 2022 that's about a two year low uh, so the overall sense of the uh, you know investors has been to be cautious and probably take some money off the table and watch how the economy evolves and what impact it could have on the earnings as well uh, so that's the reason why you saw a big sell off uh, if of course uh, the sell off looks big but then in relation to the smart recovery that we have seen in the last few weeks it's not it's not uh, surprising and uh, of course we we have to watch the japanese and trend as well as the monetary policy trend in uh, japan uh, you know to assess whether we go down further Uh, and most important being the friday jobs uh, report in the us as well uh, yes it has spilled over to the asian markets uh, again uh, all of them had been uh, on a uh, ride, uh, you know bull ride uh, after the big slump of early august and then uh, this is some take back of the uh, rally that has been seen uh, now uh, the beyond uh, the you know good news 
this study was that the Swiss inflation uh, fell to multi-month low again, uh, which which was again you know uh, uh, confirmation that more central banks are on a uh, continue to be on a, uh, rate cut path. Bank of Canada will meet again today. They will be cutting rate for the third time, uh, uh, you know, at their policy meeting, and more cut is expected from. So monetary policy is easy. Uh, but then uh, on watch is the economy, how it is going to uh, perform. Uh, on the currency side, of course, not much of an impact was seen. Euro had already fallen about one and a half percent from the highs. Um, the good support was seen in 1.102040 range and uh, several repeated attempts. It could not break lower. Uh, see, what currency, what lead the currency is importantly is uh, uh, how the US rates are going to move and how the uh, differential of the interest rates with the US is going to move and if Fed is, Fed is going to cut more, uh, uh, you know, of which there will be confirmation after the jobs report, uh, dollar will become less attractive. It's already less attractive because the yields are trading at uh, uh, July uh, 23 lows. Uh, so, uh, market is not uh, attracted by uh, you know, dollar yields and uh, most of the data from US also giving uh, you know, mixed uh, sentiment. Uh, GDP, though it is a backward looking, was uh, higher than expected, uh, but personal consumption is holding on uh, even as of now. So, uh, dollar uh, direction is uh, still, I think, is not uh, uh, set either to continue the uh, fall that we have seen in the last few weeks or to reverse, uh, I think market is on a watch as far well as the dollar is concerned. But one uh, currency that would definitely be on a bias towards upside is the yen because of, uh, you know, uh, both the fact that the Fed will be cutting rates and uh, Japan will be hiking the rates. So currency markets are uh, waiting uh, for the next direction. Gold um, got good support after, you know, decent profit taking from the high set. It got a good support at uh, 2470, which was the breakout level for for it uh, uh, before we went into 2500 plus. On the rupee, we have quickly moved into the highest point of the dollar uh, rupee uh, historical rate at 83.97. But again, uh, national banks were seen offering their market itself does not have a conviction to break higher because of the repeated resistance from central bank uh, to allow the rupee to weaken. But at the same time, what is notable is that the big inflows that we got from the last two days of August and spillover into September, about 4 billion has been absorbed by the central bank at a higher level of 83, 84, 85 levels, which means that the loan share is also getting very much limited. But again, uh, until the dollar index gives a better clue uh, on the direction, um, either uh, you know sizable fall or you know decent recovery, or uh, dollar is going to be mild in these uh, ranges, and don't expect a breakout in the dollar rupee anytime soon. Uh, we'll watch on the uh, upcoming data from US uh, uh, for you know better direction. Thank you. Thank you, Dick. And it seems uh, investors are soon as soon as they came back from the vacation, they. Uh, sold of the risk assets and of course as you also mentioned jk there was no single trigger or event to uh, sell off these markets but again uh, this was one of the reasons investors coming back from their vacation and september as you mentioned also is considered a difficult month for risk assets historically so that may also be playing out uh, and of course starting today markets will be reporting more on the us job market data front so uh, even then maybe investors decide to sell risk assets especially equities which were trading higher and recovered smartly uh, uh, after the sell-off they had experienced. For currencies, uh, they did not see much of uh, action remained range-bound. Even rupee, uh, which was trading at the higher end of the range, was kept capped by the central bank. Uh, the one thing point to note is uh, the big inflows have been absorbed by the central bank at the higher uh, levels. That's it from us today. Thank you for listening. Tune in tomorrow for the latest in the financial news.